101 Skills Percutaneous Pigtail Catheter Placement Step 1. Informed consent is obtained and a timeout is conducted. Step 2. The site of tube insertion is identified, most commonly near the anterior axillary line at the fourth intercostal space, but this may vary. Step 3. Donning of sterile attire and PPE is performed. The patient is prepped and draped in sterile fashion. This is just to keep the area nice and clean, okay? Oh, yeah. okay. Yes. Again, it's going to go over your face a bit. Let me know if that's too bothersome. Step 4. Local anesthetic is infiltrated into the corresponding intercostal space, staying superior to the rib. Okay. I'm just feeling right where your ribs are, okay? Mm -hmm. This will be the pinch and the burn. Okay. Just make sure you pull back, make sure you're not in the vessel when you go a little deeper, okay? Okay. There is a nice wheel for you. Okay, we're gonna put a lot in there. Yeah. Step five. The introducer needle is loaded onto a syringe and used to aspirate air or fluid as the needle is advanced into the pleural cavity. Okay. All right. Again, I'm just using my fingers to feel for the ribs, okay? And then I'm gonna use that tiny needle and I'm gonna go in, okay? So you'll feel pressure, but you shouldn't feel sharp pain. Let me know if it's very painful. Okay, so I'm in the fluid, so I know I'm in the right spot, okay? Just bear with me. Step six, once in the pleural cavity, a flexible guide wire is advanced into the pleural space and a small skin incision is made to facilitate passage of the dilator. You let me know if it gets hard to breathe or you're having more pain than you can stand, okay? You're doing a great job. It goes nice and easily. You may feel a little bit of a tickle there. Okay, the needle's gonna come out, so there's only the wire right now. So I don't have any needles in yet anymore. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little nick in your skin. Again, this will feel like pressure. Let me know if it feels like pain. Step seven. The dilator is slowly advanced over the guide wire, just enough to enter the pleural cavity. Following dilation, the dilator is removed and the percutaneous drain is advanced over the guide wire. I'm just gonna make that hole a little bit wider. Again, some pressure, but you shouldn't have sharp pain. Okay, some pressure, just pressure, pressure, pressure. Pressure, pressure. Are you doing all right? Make sure you move your guide wire in and out. Yeah. I'm moving easily. <coughs> Just strip, play, spread in the flora. Okay. <coughs> Perfect. <coughs> okay. Okay. And now I'm going to insert the tube, okay? Yes, ma'am. You're doing great. You're doing great. That same pressure, but it shouldn't be as bad. Okay. All the way to the third line, so that should be a nice and deep. We go in a little bit deeper, please. A little bit deeper. Okay. So there you go. You want deeper than that? You can never go too. You can always be too shallow. You can never be too deep. Okay. So it's 
nice and deep. I'm gonna take out the dilator. That tube's gonna curl like we talked about in the picture. Step eight, the drain is secured to the patient with multiple points of fixation and connected to a collection device. Okay, I'm gonna hook it up to that canister that we talked about before, okay? Tight but not obstructive.